Hey guys, I'm Sonia and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a Target haul. This is my Target Senora haul because it has like all the stuff that a senora would get or like a lady, a grown ass woman, okay? This is the stuff that we get for our house. I've got tons of things I want to show you and some products I found off of clearance that you don't want to miss. So before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe to this channel if you have yet to join my family and let's get into it. Just so I can stop getting bumped on, um, I did get some Kleenex. They have like cute print, but honestly, they're tucked away so you can't even see them. I have like this ottoman trunk in the front, like the living room area, and I store a bunch of like things in there, including some tissue, so there's that. I also got some paper towels. I use paper towels almost on a daily basis, um, especially when you're cleaning like in the restrooms, like on the floor, around the toilet. You don't wanna use rags that you're going to wash and reuse for other things, like maybe your countertop or drying off the dishes. Gross. So paper towels are always recommended. I'm trying my hardest to stay away from them in the kitchen and use some like kitchen towels to dry off my hands. It's just like a really bad habit that I need to quit. I also have to hide these as well because I will continue to use them. I got some Charmin toilet paper. So if you want to know what I wipe my ass with, it's this. Quick story about toilet paper. I know this is kind of like weird that I'm talking about toilet paper, but my mom had four kids, right? And she was a single parent. So budget was tighter than tight, okay? Like negative money, all right? And she would always get like the paper that you would have to like really wad up. So it's, there's no point in buying that because you're wasting more of it. And it was like not even one ply, it was like half a ply. It was the worst Scott brand or something. I don't even know, but it was like the worst of the worst. It felt like sandpaper on your ass, you know what I'm saying? So I always vowed when I moved out that I was gonna have the good toilet paper on my rolls in the restroom and I got me some Charmin. COVID cases are surging here in California, so I wanted to make sure I get the big pack just in case because I do not want to be running around town fighting for toilet paper if things go down. <laughs> so speaking of like colds and getting sick, a lot of people think that they have a cold or maybe even like another strain or variant of COVID, but it's allergies. I don't know what it is. Like something out there in the atmosphere is like, kicking everybody's nose. What was it two nights ago? I went to sleep like super, like gasping for air, very <laughs> dramatic, very asthmatical. And I had to, you know, take a couple of puffs of my son's inhaler and girl, I was up. I couldn't sleep. I purchased a few air purifiers back when there was a ton of fires in my neighborhood. So the air quality was really bad. So I got those and they're in every like main room. So my room, my son's room, and then the living room. And in addition to that, we also have like little fans, like tiny little portable fans that you can also get from Target. And they come in black or white. They're like small personal fans to cool us down because I don't want to use, you know, I don't want to use AC all night. So with that, you're going to be drying out. And with all the allergies going on, you need some moisture in the air as well. So it's like all these things trying to fight each other. And I needed to get myself a new humidifier. So that's what I have here. Humidifier, diffuser, it's putting moisture into the air. You can definitely add drops of essential oils like lavender, eucalyptus, things like that um, when you're getting ready to go to sleep because they're supposed to be like soothing and calming and things like that. I just put water to be honest with you. I just need moisture in the air. And this is cute to keep on the countertop. It goes with the decor in my house as well. And it was under 20 bucks. So it's like sold. So speaking of the dryness and colds and stuff, I also picked up these two packs. Um, it came with non-drowsy allergy relief pills and also the nasal spray. So when I went to the doctors recently, he was saying that he's seen so many patients with the same symptoms. Like I said, I thought I was sick too. I even took COVID tests and negative. Um, but everything is connected. Your eyes, nose, and your ears are all connected. So if you're having a runny nose, the chances of you you know, developing like other things like maybe like red eyes, itchiness, or even like an ear infection is really good. So that's why you gotta stay on top of it and almost use this as a preventative situation while we're in the midst of like horrible allergy season. So I got two of these. It comes with both the nose, the nose spray and also the pills, allergy pills. If you were to buy them separately and name brand, it's well over like $50, no joke. So that's why I got them. Each of them were 10 bucks, so I'm like, yes. I know we're like in the middle of spring, coming, cre like we're creeping onto summer, right? Um, I'm doing a lot of cleaning still, so I have these organization bins that I've shown you guys in the past. 
that were really popular. They come in, I want to say four or five different colors, like gray and pink, um, black, white, and I want to say maybe like a light green or a baby blue. And they are super affordable. Like a pack of this would be like $2 or $3. It just really depends on the size that you pick because there are some really big ones. They're drawer organizers and they don't necessarily have to go in drawers. They can go in your cabinets. They can go in those little trolley carts. Continuing with the cleaning, I got this spray. It's called Spray Away World's Best Glass Cleaner. I personally love this. I also seen it a ton on Instagram. I picked up this two pack of Clorox toilet bowl cleaner and it says it kills 99.9% .9 of germs. I mean, I thought I'm gonna be sticking my head in the toilet anyways, but you know, I don't have windows in both of my restrooms, so the chances of growing mold is really good and I'm constantly having to scrub the toilet bowl. And if you're like me, I've left like Ajax or like cleaning powder inside of the toilet and it gets stuck on the bottom of the toilet like dang it! So yeah, I got some of this and I'm hoping that it will take it off. If you guys have any other recommendations, please <laughs> let me know in the comments. I also got some new hand soap and I'm hoping that it doesn't make my hands break out. It smells really good. It's um, from Hearth and Hand with Magnolia. It's in, girl, I thought this was hand soap. <laughs> it's lotion. That makes sense. That makes sense. I have been put, I've been washing my hands with lotion for like three days now. Oh my goodness, I'm so embarrassed. Okay, well, this is lotion. I have to return this because I need, I want soap, not lotion. Another item that I purchased was this bin. These were under $10, maybe like $5. I have two of them now. One I bought like months ago. It's in my trunk and I use it all the time. Every time I go to the grocery store, I take my little bin out and it's filled with my reusable bags. But I'm like, why not just get a second bin? So I have two of them now and they fit so much stuff. So when I go to the grocery store, instead of putting them in bags, like everything just goes inside and it's perfect. Like, it's the best. Another item from Hearth and Hand with Magnolia is this Meta Oil Diffuser. But I decided to get this one and it smells so good. The packaging is awesome too, so if you want to give this as a gift, for anything, like any special occasion. Um, I know that a lot of these things are on sale, so if you guys want to check out the prices online as well before you guys roll up to Target and get disappointed, but I just think that these are great. The Meadow scent, personally, it's my favorite. It just smells really clean and it's not too like perfumey. It's what I don't like. I'm really sensitive to scents as well. Um, I got this Kindful Moisturizing Shampoo for Dogs. I like the bergamot scent for anything. It's just like one of my favorite essential oils. This one is cedarwood and I'm like, mm, I don't like it. It smells like my dog smokes cigarettes or something. I'm like, uh, no. I also got some storage bags and I always keep all sizes on deck and this is the quart size. I always go through the quart size more than anything else. So like if I open like a pack of cheese or something when I'm making sandwiches, they'll go into a quart size bag. Or if I'm making sausages in the morning, I only make two at a time because they're for my son. I'll put the sausages back into, I'll take the sausages that are left over and I'll put them into a quart size bag. So it's like constantly using Ziploc bags or when I'm making my son's lunch, things like that. Like I know it's kind of wasteful, but I'm, I'm using them, you know, and Anyways, I did want to show you guys a couple of the clearance finds that I found. Thanks to, of course, like TikTok and Instagram Reels, I follow a lot of Target accounts and it's bad. Like, just give me a red shirt and put me on the schedule because I'm like literally there almost mm, at least two times a week. Like, too much. It was originally $40 and I got it for $12. Ow. I'm going to put these... Um, in my front room, but I wanted to show you guys them. They're huge, these huge pillows, and they were also on clearance. They were originally $30 a piece. I'm like, who's paying $30 for a pillow? For one pillow, 30 bucks. And they're just humongous. So those are gonna go on my couch, and I got both of them for $9 each. I also got this shirt there as well. It's just like an oversized 
band tee. It's got ACDC on it, the lead singer from ACDC. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick haul. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And as always, I'll link everything that you see in today's video down in the description box below. And if you guys have any questions or requests, let me know in the comments section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And the fastest way, the easiest way to get a hold of me if you guys ever have like um, anything that you want to share with me would be on Instagram. That's my main platform at the moment, but I am enjoying TikTok and making content for you guys there as well. So if you want to follow me there, links to everything will be down in the description. And as always, take care and I hope to see you in the next one.